Okay, so I've made a decision about what to do about this painting. Um, my conflict before was, do I keep it uh, open like this where there's a lake and this nice view? Or do I do what my gut was telling me, which is to make it more symmetrical. So to have this continue right across. And I had a really great conversation with my parents. And uh, it was really nice to get their opinion. Um, I guess I'm grateful for that. And because uh, my mom is very well versed in art and she is an excellent artist herself. My dad uh, was just someone who's excellent to talk to. And uh, they helped bring out what I really wanted to do, which is the right th thing, I think. And here, here's what it comes down to. If I was to keep it open and the, with this kind of nice composition, I think it would be a really nice landscape. You know, and it would be like something that I love, like, like some of the Group of Sevens work. And it's just, you know, it, it would let you, you know, move into this depth and it has an open feeling. But at the end of the day, I think that's what it would be. It would be just a nice landscape. When for me, when I do painting, I'm doing more than just something that's just a visual representation of the world. I'm always doing something about something internal. And the thing that's important, or the thing that is internal to me, is a contrast between uh, life and death. <coughs> Sounds goofy. Uh, my dog's whining. Nugget. It's okay. The contrast between life and death, and also the yin and yang of, of happiness and sadness. And the other thing, which is order and chaos. And I think what will happen is when I bring this right across, it will have this overall impact that has that kind of um, unreal feeling. And it will have that duality. I know it sounds really silly and weird, but something about my intuition says this is what I should do. So, and, and I'm kind of sad because I really love that kind of openness. But I would rather have something, it feels more like unique. And there's a guy named Tim Packer who's an artist in Ontario and should check his stuff out. He's amazing landscapes. And he does these videos um, where he talks about what it's like to be an artist. And the thing that struck me recently where he, he's talking about find your own voice. And I've been painting for 30, 40 years. And I've done hundreds. I think I've, my last count was over 800 um, pieces. And I've tried every style you can imagine. And not because I, I, I was just trying to find my own voice. And I feel like after, holy shit, 30, 40 years of doing hundreds of styles and directions, I'm kind of finding my, what is my voice. And I don't even know exactly yet, but I feel like I'm getting close. And it's something to do with kind of abstract elements, but with some reality in it. And I, I like, I like uh, something kind of a romance. I don't mean it in a tacky way. I mean like true romance and something that's more like an eternal feeling. And uh, that's sort of, I guess that's what I'm going for. And, and I'm going to stop talking now. And I'm going to go and I'm going to do it. Okay? Okay, so I went ahead and I did what I wanted to do. And I brought this across. Still have a long way to go. I mean, I don't even know if I'm halfway through finish this thing. But at least I'm, I'm coming close to the composition I want. I might add some more birch trees over here to balance it out. I still want to, I'm going to bring the sky across and the green stuff across. And I'm going to add more definition to the... Um, branches going, and I haven't even touched the bottom really, but uh, there you go.